What's up, Buzzsaws and anyone else watching? Got myself a webcam because I finally found it. Didn't know where it was for like half a year. So welcome to Australia. And I'm going to do the Apex of Sacrifice while pretty geared now on my ambush character. So just want to show you how comfortable it is these days. Yeah, Orazon, jump in. As you can see, 6.2k life these days. 15k DPS. Don't really need to kill most of the trash. It's a good idea to stop and kill it every now and then though. Otherwise you might pull a Moor's Rage and get raped. Like this. It's pretty bad desync back there. I don't know. Thought I'd just ride it out, see what happens. We survived. Oh well. So this fight's pretty straightforward now. Can still take quite a lot of damage on this one when you're solo if you're not careful. All those lightning balls and shit. Shock stacks, it's Pretty, uh, yeah, it can be brutal. Yeah. a bit messy but I don't know we got out of it if you're not too rich while doing this, I mean, these packs are probably a good idea to kill anyway. Just because I've had quite a few, I don't know, random uniques drop off of them. They drop rares, currency. They seem to drop a lot of stuff. Second fight. So, pretty tanky these days, so. Can do a fair amount of standing around. And deep sing. Wouldn't get too used to it though. Especially for me since I plan to be doing Uber at Siri at some point. This stuff is all gonna hurt quite a lot. I don't know if anyone else has ever left the Jewel Striker last alive before. I tried it once just earlier. It's not the best idea. It goes into his fire phase quite a lot, like probably 80% of the time. And he reflects a shitload of damage while in that phase. So it was actually pretty rough. I have a much easier time with this guy. But, I don't know, if you find different ways better for you, then by all means.
pretty dangerous stuff to just rush through, but I don't know, you get away with it like 99% of the time. At least with my gear spec, etc. As usual, stand in the middle, zap down anything coming towards her. I've almost got enough resist to over -catness, so I don't really bother taking it off when I curse. I've got less than capped on lightning, but um. I don't know, I think it's good practice. To, uh, yeah, not be capped. So that I take shit loads of damage if I don't dodge it. Because that's what's going to happen on Ubers anyway. May as we get used to it. That's my thinking behind it anyway. usually get one ad phase per 25% now because it's pretty quick so I mean once you get used to the fight, once you're geared enough it stops becoming too much of a challenge but I'm sure that'll change if I get into ubers missing one fragment at the moment have been for a very long time it's pretty, I don't know annoying way of preventing me from potentially killing it. I think I'm ready for it. Why can't I do it? Not enough fragments. Awesome. I've killed it probably like 30-35 times now as well. So it's, I don't know. Kind of frustrating. Seems like she's pretty much on a timer for those ads, which will usually expire during that uh, split phase because it takes a bit of time. So almost always her first or second course of action after the split phase is ads. I'm sure you would have noticed it. Probably just cast like a flame blast and then go straight into ads. to be tough on something like a uh, Uber's version when she just decides to spawn from all four locations probably I have a feeling that I'll let at least a few ads hit her if I ever make it to her that is can't get too confident haven't even tried it
not what we're looking for. And definitely not what we're looking for. But that... My stats. The other stats. Pause them at the end of the video if you want. Whatever, gears the gear. But yeah, Buzzsaw is actually a pretty good spec for this stuff. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have other videos of something sometime soon. So